Well, I just thought I'd do a, a couple of minutes video on uh, running this gas pipe uh, around. You can see uh, down there that I've fitted the uh, pipe clips to the wall and um, I mean, luckily for me I've got a I'm assuming these bricks, uh, the brickwork is level and I can run the pipe all the way along uh, you know in the middle of this brick and assume it's uh, it's going to be level um, but a useful tip if you can get the first two level with the spirit level and then just feed your straight 22 mil pipe along and uh, every time you come to uh, drill one of these you can just pull the pipe across and uh, it will show you exactly where you've got a drill and I've just done that one so I can now feed the pipe through that he says I can't see where it is there we go I can feed that pipe along and uh, it will now show me where to drill on the uh, on the next brick so I thought that was quite a useful tip if you haven't got a uh, you know, a level run of bricks to uh, screw this to. I'm uh, I'm putting pipe clips on pretty uh, pretty uh, short distances. Uh, you know, obviously don't want this uh, flexing. I'm going to try and do this with only the one solder join outside. Um, if you look down there, I have saved a piece of the old lead pipe. So the idea is to once the pipe uh, holders are on the wall I'm going to take this pipe off and uh, just put just you know bend that piece of lead to the shape I need to go into the meter box there out a bend up and along and, uh, and then I'm going to get the, the pipe benders out and put the same bend into uh, into the copper so that way it will come straight out of the meter there'll be two bends won't be any joints in that It'll come along here, um, wherever it ends. There'll be a join, you know, about this point, and then another pipe that will go along, and then up into the uh, the pipe through the wall there. Um, so I'm hoping we'll only have perhaps one soldered joint on the outside. Um, again, I'm hoping at that end to be able to bend the pipe through 90. Uh, and then another 90 and straight through the wall. So again, there's no no joins there, but we'll see how that uh, that goes. Uh, the other thing I've decided to do is I'm going to follow the gas board regulation, and they want a uh, 10 mil earth uh, coming through the wall onto uh, the pipework right next to the meter. So I'm going to do that and uh, then I'll just cross bond all of the copper on the boiler but uh, you know if we don't do it I know I'm, for me it's stupid to put a clamp on an exterior copper pipe because of corrosion but if we don't uh, if somebody comes along and looks at the meter they'll mark it down as uh, not complying with the current regulations and I'm not sure we really want that on uh, on any paperwork <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'll be just running it through the wall. That will go into the front room under the, the floor, which is already up at the moment, across the hallway and directly into the uh, uh, the earth of the consumer unit. So yeah, just a quick update there. I just thought that might be a useful tip about running the, the pipe along uh, as you do each uh, pipe clip. Uh, the only other thing I'd say, if you are using soldered connections make sure you've got a, uh, a pipe um, pipe clamp you know either side of it you don't want any flexing of uh, of the joints because the solder will crack uh, I guess over over the years um, so yeah just that bend to do there uh, the second pipe I'm going to bend as I said and up into there hopefully and uh, that's it. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you later.